why you should never co-sign for something. That's right. Why you should never co-sign for anyone. No matter what. Don't co-sign for cars, credit cards, or stool. What's the worst case scenario if you say no? They get butt hurt. They get upset. They throw a little tantrum. But they're still going to be your friend 10, 20, 30 years from now. Whereas if you co-sign for them, it's probably going to end the friendship. It's going to cause problems. I just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't co-sign. There's nothing good that's going to come out of it. It's almost all bad. Almost all of it is bad. It's just not worth it. Think about this. If you say yes to your friend and you co-sign for him, it means you might not be able to buy a house. It means you might not be able to buy a new car when your car breaks down. Because that debt, you have to prove that you can afford to pay for it. Think about that. See, when you co-sign for your friend, they're using his income to get the car. And they're using your credit. But when you go to buy a new car, you can't use your friend's income to offset his car loan. Think about that. Another reason you should not co-sign for somebody. But if you are going to not take my advice and you're going to co-sign for someone anyways, I'm going to list how you need to co-sign for that person. What you need to do in order to prevent you being a good person, you being a good friend, a good parent, a good grandparent from having your credit destroyed, potentially your life, your financial life destroyed and run through the mud. More money, increase your credit, reduce your taxes, eliminate your debt, and hopefully increase your investments. I'm Ronnie Lambeth, founder and CEO of Fortress University. And for the last 15 years, we've helped thousands of people increase their credit score, reduce their taxes, and eliminate their debt. And that's what I want to help you with.